in this video let's talk on inequalities in mathematics only equality sign cannot satisfy our need for example if i want to say 200 naira is less than 500 naira now equality sign cannot satisfy this statement then we need a symbol that can satisfy this statement so now i will represent this as 200 naira is less than 500 naira so that means this symbol means less than so in inequalities we have symbols that we use to represent in equation so now this symbol is equ is equals to is less than this symbol means is greater than this symbol means is great is less than or equal to this symbol means is greater than is greater than or equal to now we have streets inequalities street inequalities they are less than and greater than for example s is greater than five now what does this mean it means the number here is greater than the number here meaning anything you have here should be greater than what you have here so if we take o number then s will be equals to six seven eight nine ten continue but on number line it will show the other numbers that is if here is zero let's call this place two four six eight ten twelve continue to plus infinity and this place will be negative side continue to minus infinity now s is greater than five if here is four the middle four the middle of four and six will represent five now s is greater than five now if we look at this from here if this place is five that means all the numbers backward like this are less your this is four two they are less than five all the numbers this way they are greater than five like six eight like that so that means the way you will draw your arrow must be to the right because all the numbers to the right are greater than five so this is how we can represent it on number line so if here is five you know here should be like 5.1 5.2 or 5.0 anything before six all these numbers here are greater than five now we will leave this circle open because it is greater than but if it is greater than or equal to we are going to shade the circle anytime you have greater than or equals to or less than or equal to you are going to shade but if you have greater than or less than you will leave it open take notes so i'm leaving it open now because what i have here is greater than so i'm leaving it open so now we we can say this enclosing tower form is s is a member of five because it's open to 
infinity. So in close interval form. So I will have done this in previous video. So now let's move to weak inequalities. We also have weak inequalities. Weak inequalities. Greater less than or equal to and greater than or equal to are weak inequalities and sometimes the phrase at most and at least are used to represent weak inequalities at most means less than or equal to why at least means greater than or equal to now if i say s is greater than or equal to five what does this mean it means x the number here can take numbers from five because it's greater than or equal to five that is can take from five six seven eight nine and so on now on number line we can have this if here is zero two four six twelve it is a two plus infinity and here to minus infinity now here will be five between four and six so x is greater than or equal to five so I'm still going this way because they are greater than 5. But I will shade this place. Why? Because it is greater than or equal to. If it is ordinary greater than, then leave this open. So now this is weak inequalities. And we use it for less than or equal to greater than or equal to. Now let's see linear inequalities in one variable. So we can start simple calculation. Yeah. Linear inequalities in one variable linear inequalities in one variable now, basic operational principles with linear equations apply to linear inequalities, except when we multiply or divide both sides by negative number. So, for example, if I give you an equation like 2x plus 3 is equal to 5, if I say you should solve this, this is normal linear equation. What are you going to do? You say collect like times. If you collect the like times here, this will become 2x is equals to 5 minus 3. So because this is plus, if you cross, it becomes minus. Then you have 2s is equals to 2. From here, you divide both sides by 2. So divide both sides by 2. So this will be Two. then this will cancel out then s will be equal to 1 but if the question is 2s plus 3 is greater than 5 it's still the same procedure collect the like times that will be 2s is greater than 5 minus 3 then 2s is greater than 2 so x is greater than 2 over 2 s is greater than 1 so the same way we solve normal inequality a uh, normal equation is the same way you are going to solve inequalities now in the next video let's start examples so to make the video short so this one is just like background information on linear inequalities in one variable so in my next video 
So I'm going to solve questions. Thank you.